Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to where I explain where the hell I've been in the last month. Basically, since starting somewhere around the end of August, not August, October, I've been stringing along being sick, and then and dental procedures, and finals, well, and midterms, and catching up from all, from missing stuff from all the other things. And I have had very, very little time to record anything in the period from the end of October to mid-December. And that's pretty much where I've been. <laughs> I mean, that's really all it comes down to, really. I've probably spent, over in the last two and a half months, I've probably spent over a month of that time either sick or recovering f from being sick, or recovering from minor surgery. Which is, which let me tell you, is a whole lot like being sick. Um, and the, and most of the rest of the time has been doing midterms or finals or catching up with stuff because I spent so bloody long being sick. And in that regard, it's kind of been a pretty busy section of time for me. Now, in about halfway through December, right around when my finals were, were, in fact, so you know I was sort of busy with those, I was gonna start recording and putting stuff up again. I would have been off for a week or two and it would have been nice. Except then I caught the worst cold of all, right before my finals were over, mind you. So, the result of that being I'm incapacitated for about a week. And I, it screws with my finals, and I'm going into my holidays where I'm incredibly busy with family, and I just say, screw it, I'm taking the rest of the month off. Which brings us to now, pretty much. And I should say, I am still actually recovering from that cold. I have just taken cough medication, which is why I'm not coughing my brains out right now trying to record this. But... I really wanted to get this video out to tell you where I've been and to tell you what's coming up. Because next week I'm starting uploading a game. Golden Sun is definitely going to be uploading until it's finished because I've already recorded all of it. Final Fantasy 6 might not, depending on how long it takes me to completely recover. I think though, with how I feel now, well enough to be recording this, admittedly on some medication. I I think I'll probably not have any major breaks in Final Fantasy VI either, unless they're caused by thing other things in my life that get me incredibly busy, which you know does happen occasionally. Like maybe I might miss my mid uh, midterms or a week during midterms, for example. That said, I'm fairly confident I can keep that consistent. On that note... Well, that's going to be fun to edit. On that note, there's a few other things to explain, which I will do... During... Minecraft. Because, you know, I'm sure no one saw this coming. I mean, I've only done it for almost every single announcement video. And hey, you know what? I need to finish up ex my tour of my city. The last part, the upper part. Starting with here. But first, I guess I should finish what I was talking about before. There's just two quick things to mention, then I'll start on Minecraft. First of all, schedule-wise, it's going to be pretty much... As long until Golden Sun finishes, which should take another at least another month or two. 
But until that finishes, it's going to be pretty much the same as before. The weekend slot might not stay on Saturday, but otherwise it's still going to be 4 week, 2 and 2. After I finish Golden Sun, it's going to change a bit. I'm What I'm planning on is doing 3 a week of Fallen Fantasy 6. Because my schedule is such as it is, I'm not sure I can maintain the the doubles at, or the double at the same time right now. And also, I want to be able to do more Final Fantasy VI. So, I think that'll work out because most of my audience is watching only Final Fantasy VI anyway, so you'll probably be happy with that, because hey, more Final Fantasy VI! And it's good for me because it's less work for me. Um, what is the other thing? Uh, right. Also, once I do... Having said that, obviously I'm not going to be starting a new series right after Final or er, right after Golden Sun. I do have something in mind uh, to do the next series that I start. I know what it will be. Um, I don't know when I'm going to start it because it it depends a lot on how long Final Fantasy VI takes. I think if it takes a if it's within a certain time span, then I'll start it synchronous to Final Fantasy VI. If I finish Final Fantasy VI before I get to the point where I can do that, then it'll be after Final Fantasy VI. If I do start it during Final Fantasy VI, what I'll probably do is that I'll do three weeks of Final Fantasy VI during the week, and I'll do one a week of the other one. As for what it actually is, well, I'm not telling you, but I will tell you what system it's on. It's a PSP game. Because, well, it's sort of a PSP game. It was remade on PSP. The version I'm doing is on PSP. Because I've been running some tests with that, and as it turns out, I can actually record uh, off of a PSP emulator. And keep in mind, this is a game I own. Just throwing that out there if anyone's squeamish about that sort of thing. But yeah, as it turns out, I can record. I should be able to record off of the uh, emulator pretty well, I think. I haven't actually tested recording, but I've tested running it, and it runs really smoothly. Like the quality is high enough to make me want to do it. But anyway, I'm just gonna leave that teaser for there and start on Minecraft. We are all at the first house of the nobles. We'll be going through all the stuff in the noble section of the city, plus the ship, which I've done a little work on. Ahem. House Ferem are the road builders. That's this one, Ferem, which means iron in Latin. They built the wharf and the underway. Well, the wharf being... Wait, oh, that's disappointing. I had a big map here of the whole city, except it seems to have not kept. Oh well, what you gonna do? Maybe no, that's not gonna. Oh well, maybe I can. Re maybe it's because I updated. I might be able to fix that. Hmm. Anyway, Ferrum even led the construction of the Undercity before the project was abandoned. Which tells us a few things. First of all, this noble house it is all about the transportation. Because they put a lot of money into that. Their structures also, if if you look at the stuff they built, tend to be made of iron and really heavily built. It's probably the most they're probably, ironically, the most practical of the buildings. Or roads, as the case may be. They also, for some reason, were working on the Undercity. You know, before that became the hive of scum and villainy that... Wh to shame all other hives of scum and villainies. Uh, oh, I can't get in here. Okay, then. And this is like, basically a backyard type thing. I mean, I say they're the most practical, but they're easily the... No, no, nothing up here is even remotely practical. Um, and this is basically a little bit bathhouse. 
Not actually much in here. This is a really shitty dining table. Hmm. I should come in here and fix it up at some time. I should also put stained glass all over the place! But I haven't yet. I don't think I've done any work on this between when that particular update came out and now. Although I have done other work. Between, I don't remember when the last video I recorded for this was actually. But I know I did work on the city between it and now. At the very least, I know I work on my pirate ship. Or, I say pirate ship. It's not a pirate ship. It's basically a pirate ship. High Tops. Home of the No- I completely forgot it was called that. I mean, it's sort of a literal name, but it works. Now, I would take a boat, whoops, on my gravity to find canal. Except those are actually really unreliable, ironically enough. Because it's too narrow. And twisty. Boats work in a straight in straight lines, and that's about it. It is said that in Calopolis, nothing stands taller than high tops. That is, which is true. I made I started building this place before the height limit got doubled, and I built the top part first. It sort of locked me in. But you know, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing to have limits. Let's see. This path goes over here, but I don't think it actually goes anywhere. Nope. It just falls. Hmm. I believe House Forem also built the Opera House slash Auditorium slash whatever the hell you want to call it. As it is certainly their st style. Completely overbuilt. It, insofar as it's actually pra somewhat practically built. A little bit. I'm not sure what they were thinking getting in on that business, but, you know, it works. Anyway, moving on to the second house. Um, this part, this back part, is a later addition. It's essentially a housing unit for all of the family members who... Wow, I forgot, totally forgot to put a kitchen in here. Oops. It's basically a housing unit for all of the family members who are not part of the, uh ruling family. I guess you could say, like, whoever is the family head lives and his immediate family, like his children, probably his mother, or her father, you know, either way. It's not a matriarchy? Patriarchy? Pat it's not a patriarchy. Um... Either way, the guy in charge of the the person need to watch my my language in charge of the house plus that person's spouse plus that person's kids. Anyway, is there no? There's no sign up here. Hmm. House artifacts are the builders of the upper city, so they can base if they're the merchants. Actually, I sh should watch. Let me rephrase that. If they're the highwaymen, they are the architects. Which, in a city like this, is sort of a big deal. And it shows because their house is, in some ways, the most practical. It's held up by these teeny tiny stilts, and that's it. I say some ways because they are certainly beat out in one significant manner. As builders, the family has been well liked by the commons. Is there? Nope. Just a potion room, pretty much. I think the, all those boxes are empty. Because I don't know the first thing about brewing potions. Three way, three futon bed. And no other signage in here. Hmm, that's pretty spouse. A lot of portraits, though. And around the back, I think you already saw, was a nice little garden. With... Oh, these aren't roses anymore. I need to put in rose bushes! And more flowers in general, because there's a lot more types. Again, I haven't done anything with those. And a little fountain. Anyway, though... Let's head over here. 
But then, where did the shrine come from? Ah. I, I think I missed a sign, maybe? Maybe I just took one out. Maybe one just got destroyed, I don't know. Shrine referencing the thing over there. This thing is butt, because it assumes the red stuff behind it. And... If they built this part, and they built it to be above everyone else, such that no one can build above them, then what is the shrine doing over there? Something they seemingly did not build, and yet is equal to them. Very mysterious. Before the shrine, there was only the lower city. Though it wasn't known by that name at the time, which stands to reason since there was no upper city. There was no city above it, it was just the city. Um, yeah. House Orum owns the city's wealth. And this is what I meant by, in some ways, theirs is the most impractical. But theirs is impractical in the well-made sense. This is impractical in the it's made of solid gold sense. Solid gold and little else. Let's see, there is a watering room type thing. There is a enchanting table library there is i think these are empty now but it used to be filled with golden apples so it was both a kitchen and yet another example of everything being covered in gold and a bedroom and that's about it uh where's the here and over here is there is arum it's equivalent of their extra family living space. And yeah, they're basically the bankers of the city. They build stuff. They control all... or they build stuff. They're the bankers. <laughs> That's pretty much how it goes. I guess. And I don't think there's any signs in here either. But I think it's pretty well made. Well, I would say that though, wouldn't I? It is... there's a lot of water coming off of this thing. Nice little apartments, pretty much. Anyway, this is a shitty water elevator I made. It's a boat elevator because I wanted to make a way to get up here that wasn't breaking the laws of physics, you know, swimming up a waterfall. So my natural solution was really bad. I'm going to need to redesign this thing at some point, at least make it a water elevator instead of a boat elevator, because the boats don't bloody work anymore. I mean, they used to work for this way, I'm sure if I tried hard enough I could get them to work for this way, but it's not worth the effort, frankly. I'm better off just scrapping it. A anyway. Next up. Way over here is the shrine! What is the shrine? The altar of light serves as a beacon to the noble them race. So yeah, that's pretty damn arrogant. Even talking like that, that'll get you into trouble. And yeah, each one of these is a light source. Uh, this thing is pretty damn old. In fact, I think it's so old that it predates the netherrack, but I sort of threw it in there. Because it was better than... Wait, no. Did I do that? No, because I had glowstone at the beginning. Um, what did I replace? Maybe nothing? Oh no, I was going to replace the pumpkins, but I never got around to it. Because I couldn't get the, um... What was I going to put here? I don't remember. I was going to put something else here, but I couldn't get it to uh, work quite how I wanted. Anyway... And that's the noble area. It's pretty small. There's not really that much up there. And honestly, the whole thing I think could be... If there's one weak spot in this place, it's probably the... Is that missing a... No. It's probably this part. Well, there's a few parts. It's... It's deviated a little too far from the intent, I think, as well. It feels too ran... Or the architecture feels too random to me. Like, it's not unified enough. But, you know, now is not the time for criticizing my own work. Actually, now is exactly the time for criticizing my own work. Still, 
let's save it for when my ship finishes. Well, hey, you can see inside the ship now. Eh, let's just go inside. As you can see, actually I think I've showed you this part before. Well, as you can see, it's really dark in here. Hey, it's a creeper! My brightness is cranked up to max. I really wish the ship would finish loading. And this goes straight up to the deck. You know, I'm just gonna... Fly around a little... There we go. Now, the deck, there's not really that much up here. Oh, but we can climb the mast. Love the, that, love the little touches, like the ladder thing. Now, I will... To be honest, this, this mast is way too short and not wide enough as it should be for a ship of this size. And someone's talking to me, so that's going to be interesting. Um, but, you know, I was sort of limited because it's beside calculus, which means I can't make it too tall. I could have made, it, made the mask wider, but that only works so much before it just looks weird going that way. It's really just not tall enough. But what you gonna do? Jump down here! And have a Pokemon battle! Or not. Okay, as you can see, if you look closely, this whole thing is actually covered by a network of string! Which is very hard to see when it's light like this, but... Unless I can see it from below. No, I, not really. It's very hard to see the whole thing, unless you look really closely. But it's there! And now I'm gonna climb this mast. Actually, I'm just gonna fly up this mast. It's quicker. It's basically the same as the other one. It's a little bit taller, though, and there's this little hidden surprise. Oh yeah, I don't think... Well, I can probably climb up there. But, let's see... It's here somewhat. I can't see it. Uh, uh, it's a zombie. Here! There's a little hiding room. Which I didn't even put here, actually. Someone else did. But I liked it so much that I said he can keep it. And on that note, let's go back to the deck. We will go up to the helm. And then we'll start going inside things. The helm! Not really. This is about as best as I could do for a steering wheel on this thing. Minecraft doesn't do wheels very well, unfortunately. Are those banging on the captain's cabin door? No, this was a different door, I suppose. Captain's cabin. Inside is a large eating area for officers. Plus, also, presumably, there'd be a lot of just junk and maps and stuff in the corners. Really, this whole place should have a lot more tables in it, like attached to the walls and things. Because this is basically the operation hub of the ship, when not on deck. But, there are two rooms connected to this. There is this room, which... Is this the captain's room or the first mate? I don't remember. Let's check the other room to find out. Okay, this is empty. So, I don't even remember what I was going to put in here. That's interesting. Not really. Obviously, the ship is not quite fully furnished. Oh, well. This is the captain's uh, bed chamber, then. And if we go down another level, we can go in here. There's a few things in here. There is the arsenal. Which... I just... No, there is a button in here. Good. Zombies are loud. That's kind of annoying. I'm pretty sure these are all empty. But they should probably be filled with gunpowder and stuff. Hey. So. Bizarrely. My commentary just cut off here. So this is post-commentary after this point. <laughs> Go figure. Um... This right here, I'm trying to remember the stuff I did, like, yeah, late last night, when I didn't have enough sleep, is the... 
thingy. Um, the bunks. Yeah, that's it. It's the bunks. And it would have been nice if it... I wanted to do like a hammock thing, but that's obviously not going to happen in Minecraft. So it's the bunks. And then going down the floor, you can go over and look here. We're going to see a lot of nice little interior details, like guardrails around the big hole in the middle. And you can go across the other side where there's nothing there. Except for skeletons, for some reason. But, if you turn around, turn around, turn around, any time now. I guess I was talking about something. I mean, I don't know what, but something. Aha, and if you turn around, there is the pantry! Which is fairly empty. There should probably be more stuff in there. But there's also the kitchen right beside the pantry, which is also connected to the pantry. It should also probably have more stuff in it. Although it seems more reasonably built, it's just not enough. The things in on the top are like hanging racks for things like garlic or stuff you hang from the ceiling. And honestly, the storeroom, pantry that is, should probably be absolutely full of those. The other th and the other thing that's missing, there should be a whole lot of barrels of water, but Minecraft. So you know, that's probably not happening. And I'm pretty sure this is where I kill some zombies, because they're too loud. Yep. Looks like it. And then we go down the floor, and we arrive on the livestock level. By which I mean mostly horses. And donkeys, and maybe a mule or two. And a zombie that's back trying, that just really wants to get at his horse. Annoyingly. And wow, even with my brightness cracked, it, this area is still really dark in video. Because the thing is that I don't know if a lot of people realize this, but when you're recording videos, usually if something's dark, it becomes darker in the recording. Which is kind of a pain. And then on the other side, there's a massive pile of hay for feeding all of the livestock. And then we go down a floor, and there's nothing! Because this floor is the uh, storage floor, basically. It's for cargo. But there's no cargo. Because I couldn't think of a good way to represent it, other than just a whole lot of boxes, and that wouldn't have looked very good. Unfortunately. But we can go down to the next floor, and we will arrive at the stockade, which I think is one of the better design areas. It's all locked in with different types of cells, some of which are quite cramped. And there's this part up top that's a beam, but you can also put guards up here so that they can see inside without ever being in reach. And then there's this thing down here. Which is a thing. Maybe the prisoners work down there? I don't really know, it's just sort of there. Going down to the very hull of the ship. On the other hand, on the other side, if you walk over there, there's something that actually serves a purpose. Namely, a bilge pump for getting rid of, you know, the water uh, that's supposed to not be down here. Here's the... Th well, I guess I won't tell you about the pool because I'm out of time. 
because this video is short or something. I don't know. Post commentary is weird. Anyway, this is the end of the video. Bye.